I had an experience when I was seven. My first experience was when I was seven years old. Mm. So literally my grandmother, I'm from Texas. My grandmother lives in West Texas, a small town called McCamey, Texas. Small. Everyone knows everyone in McCamey, Texas. So when I was seven, I went to go visit her for spring break. My birthday always falls on spring break, so I used to always go visit her. But this one spring break, I had an older cousin, and she had a best friend. Her best friend and her boyfriend got into a domestic dispute. He got a gun, he shot himself, and he shot her. She lived, he died. Mind you, this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone. So my grandmother and her best friend decided to go to the funeral home to view the body of the young man. Seven years old, they decided to take me. Mm. This is the first time I had ever seen a casket, a dead body, been to a funeral, anything like that. And I will never forget walking into that church and walking up to the front with my grandmother and her friend. And I remember peering into the casket and there he was. He was a young man laying there. He had on a light gray suit, a white shirt and a skinny black tie. And I remember looking at his face. And even at seven, I knew if you shot yourself, you shouldn't look like, he just looked like he was asleep. Mm. And I asked my grandmama, I said, mama, I thought you said he shot himself. And she was like, he did, baby. They just do a good job here. <laughs> I was like, okay, at seven, it's called, right. it's called a makeover. Hey, listen, they did well. But this is where my life changed forever. My grandmother's friend, at seven years old, looked at me and asked me, Dalen, have you ever touched a dead body before? Whoa, whoa, sounds like spiritual initiation to me. Now, if I would have been like, yeah, for sure, That's I do it all the time, <laughs> you right. it would have been a problem. They would have called CPS on my family. Bro, your grandmother's hanging around bad influences. Man, listen, this lady, this lady grabbed my hand. I, you already know where I'm going with yep. it. She put my hand on the chest of this young man in this casket. Mm. I remember just looking up at my grandmother, shaking. And like Jawan said, you were entirely too old to be hanging around bad influences. I jacked my hand off this man, and I remember screaming and running out the sanctuary. We left. And I promise you, as my name is Dalen Lorenzo Spratt, right hand to God, that night I was asleep on my grandmother's couch. And this is back in like, 91. So you know your grandmamas, they got the little plastic on the couch. Maybe y'all grandmamas didn't. Nah. My grandmama that was had the, plastic that was, that on her was couch. The form, that was the formal area. You <laughs> really shouldn't have been sleeping on I shouldn't on have been sleeping on that couch. But you know, they let the baby rest. 3 a.m., I woke up, hand to God, I look into the kitchen, and standing in the door frame was that same young man wearing that light gray jacket, Ooh. white shirt, and thin black tie. I screamed from the top of my lungs. My grandmother came running into the room. Boy, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I remember just trying to peel myself off the plastic. You, and, uh, and, you, and you was trying to tell her how to, how to blame your friend? How to blame her pointing, friend? And pointing and screaming and pointing. And she looked and nothing was there. Yeah. And I just remember thinking like, damn, like, did I make that up? <laughs> or was it really somebody there? That instance has always been like just Skull in the back of my brain forever. So when I became an adult, that thought just kept replaying, replaying, replaying. So then we get on the journey of Ghost Brothers. Mm -hmm. And now, 35-year-old Dalen, who's been on a thousand investigations and talked to ghosts, I realized what I feel like happened was called an attachment. I feel like I touched that man, and for whatever reason, he felt like it was okay <laughs> to come back to where I was. I never saw him after I screamed and yelled. Maybe he realized that it wasn't what it was supposed to be, but I never, what's crazy is that was almost 30 years ago and I can still see his face staring at me from the door frame of the kitchen in the living room.